Welcome back at the Computing Conference in London 2017 and I'm here with another expert. His name is Kim Nevelstein and he's here to present his PhD or talk about his PhD in pervasive games and more. He will tell us more. And he's also thinking and, and running a startup. So we're curious. What would you present? What, what did you investigate in your research in pervasive games? Um, so what I did was actually use a virtual world engine to run a pervasive game and mm -hmm. I wanted to show in my thesis that um, you could actually use uh, game engines to actually run pervasive games and then uh, towards the end of my thesis I went to show that you could actually have, for example, uh, use a metaverse concept, which is then a next generation virtual world, to use a metaverse, com uh, metaverse concept in conjunction with uh, Internet of Things and um, so what would the metaverse concept be? Uh, so the metaverse is actually what you would say, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, it's become a really diluted term, mm -hmm. but uh, in essence what you would say is um, like a combination of n multiple worlds to form a very large, uh, like meta galaxy or something like that. Yes, <laughs> yeah, you're saying yes, a meta yes, galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, yes. yes. A l large, a large galaxy. Yes, so All right. in essence you could also say that it would be maybe the combination of, uh, instead of having the internet, you'd have the internet of 3D virtual worlds, and mm. then maybe uh, that combined with uh, the physical, uh, maybe in uh, augmented reality or something. Exactly, like so yes. you call that mixed reality, don't you? Yes. Okay, yes. so a com combination of all realities. Mm. It sounds mm. adventurous, am I right? Uh, it's, uh, yeah, you could say that it's, it's, an, uh, it's a little bit of a, uh, a stretch to see if we can actually make it happen. Mm. So it'll be an. Uh, What's the stretch? Well, so there's a lot of aspects to it. So mm -hmm. I mean, it's a really broad topic. So then uh, it will require a lot of manpower and a lot of uh, research to get the complete thing to to function. So we're going to try to focus on one core aspect. And um, so I mentioned before, uh, interoperability is one of those things that we we really want to focus on. Mm -hmm. So the startup that I'll be doing then in the fall that will actually focus on interoperability between virtual worlds. Wow! And then that will actually could be on multiple levels. So. Uh, it could be on a programming level or mm -hmm. it could be on a design level or something like that. So we what we want to do is build a framework so that uh, companies or uh, people building virtual worlds can actually implement use the framework to then make it so that to enable inter interoperability between virtual worlds. All right, so they can so, so they can decide for themselves how to interrupt. Yeah, so to be interoperable with other worlds. So for sure. example, if you say I want to have my world actually uh, talk to another world and actually have some kind of meaningful interaction that you could have a framework that kind of mediates this. All right, you're a mediator between virtual worlds. Exactly, yes. All right, and, and that's kind of new, or isn't it? I think it's new. Um, it, it, the, I think there's been attempts before, mm. but I don't think they've been successful whatsoever. Why not? Why is it so hard? Uh, especially because interoperability is on multiple levels, mm -hmm. and then also <coughs> one of the also problems is a social problem in the sense that uh, if you have people that have very large dominant systems, they're not all that likely to say, well, I think I'll open up my system to yeah. smaller parties. Uh, they they would like to keep their monopoly. So you I have understand. to make an incentive for them or also uh, figure out other ways to kind of break that monopoly yeah. or to say, well, you know, make it interesting for them or something. How, how, how will you do that? What um, incentives will you use? Uh, that's kind of part of the thing that we want to keep as a secret ah, sauce for now. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> tell me, nobody's listening. <laughs> because because th that, is, that is, of course, uh, a concern. Will people yes. um, cooperate with you? Yes, adoption mm. is also a big concern. So we want to make it so that the framework is lightweight, so that so that people really don't uh, are, are inclined to be want to use it to say, oh, this is really easy to, to use. It's very uh, unobtrusive, so we, we, we can we can implement this. It doesn't really bother us so much, and uh, and yeah. then then to even and gives us more features than it does to, to than it, the negative negative effects of, of uh, having to implement the that would work framework that would help so. probably. Okay, yeah. so uh, are you facing a problem now while developing all of this beautiful interruptibility? I think for the moment right now is uh, the hardest part is mm -hmm. is um, because it's such a, a new concept and it's kind of it's mind boggling for a lot of people to wrap their heads around. Yeah. Um, that I think the most part important part is trying to be able to convey the message to people to to kind of convince them that this is something that is very needed in the future and yeah, well, because why? why is it needed? Uh, 
You have the chance now on camera. Well, so the most important thing is that right now you have a lot of systems that are really isolated, and so uh, companies isolate users uh, in on their systems. But mm -hmm. I think that in order, you have multiple uh, virtual worlds uh, coming up, and, and now you already have tens of hundreds of virtual worlds uh, for gaming already ex in existence, but this was Absolutely. only just increase. Mm -hmm. But I mean, uh, the the maybe an analogy would be to say if you had an internet and just say a whole bunch of web pages, but you couldn't surf between web pages, you would be stuck on one. Yeah. So the, I mean, in that sense, it's it's very ev evident that you would want to be able to switch from one world to the next without yes. having a lot yes. of overload. So we that would be the main thing. Yeah. Yeah. People would like that probably. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> so you will not tell us the name of your startup company? No. No, no, it's a secret. So <laughs> we, you keep us in suspicion. So we'll be curious. Will it be in Stockholm? Because there there you uh, you obtained your doctorate. But No, so actually I did my uh, two-year master's degree in Uppsala. Mm. Uh, so um, uh -huh. the company will be a startup in Uppsala. Uppsala. And, but um, I want to base some research in Stockholm if I can. So mm. we'll see which connections that I make with universities to see who, who can support me on that end. Okay, good. And you said, well, well, my line of work is quite new. So there were not many people at the conference in your line of work still, right? No, I think the metaverse in itself, I think it's it's a, a term that used to be more popular than now. And mm. uh, I think it's kind of faded out of people's eyesight. And mm. now other terms are more of a buzz. So I think that the metaverse is, and now it's also diluted. So that um, I think maybe uh, new terms like interoperability are more important to say that we focus on uh, what we're say really what we're focusing on instead yeah. of try to work with the buzzword. And so maybe new concepts will, uh, new words will be might be more important than trying to say well we'll work on the metaverse. Yeah. But as for the metaverse itself, I think that there's only a, a handful of people in the world mm -hmm. that are really working in this area. Oh so yeah, I see. And interoperability is a beautiful word, isn't it? It's long <laughs> and not in the <laughs> dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> but it is still beautiful. Okay. Thank you so much, Kim Nevelstein. Thank you, Kim. Yeah, we hope to see you around at the conference. Thank mm -hmm. you for watching on the SAI Conference YouTube channel. You can see more interviews with all of the brilliant experts that we have just hanging around here in London. Thank you.